I have a really big piece of paper with an abstract background. And I'm glazing, and this is what I'm going to do right now. The background with a really thin color of paint. And here's the trees that I demoed that my picture wasn't very good. So um, I'm going to put a thin layer of glaze over the top so that you see what glazing can do. Now this one is copper, so it's actually a metallic that I'm putting on here. Now, uh, I would have to go back and repaint these trees, but that's all right, I can do that. So this is how I added color to each of the four panels. Is with a glaze of color over the top of a textured background. All right, so you can see that one is now brown. I have red. I have a yellow one. And I have a blue green one. It's all from one large piece of paper. Okay, so um, move this lamp so it doesn't make a glare, but at least I'll have light. So there is the trees now that I did, and I'm going to try to replicate the process so that you could see these. Um, with another piece of paper and hopefully uh, Megan you can see them better and everyone else can see them as well. I just don't think my video turned out too good. Got this iPhone stand. But in order to see what I'm showing you I have to watch my computer. There. Now, if I don't move anything, maybe that will be right. So there is my dry yellow piece of paper, and it's ready for me to start. And believe it or not, this is just a textured background where I wet the paper, and I added watery yellow and red and brown and use um, salt and saran wrap and things to make the texture. And I don't think it was watercolor when I did this. I think it's acrylic, just like I'm using now, by the way it reacted. So it's just acrylic paint that looks like watercolor. All right, so I'm going to start with tape. And I may have made a lot of trees using this technique. And usually I make them like this. So, upside down. <laughs> now you can see the trees in the background. And I'm using just an abstract background, and I'm using tape to create the place for the tree. 
All right, so I've got blue painter's tape, and I'm going to tear it so that it's about the same height as the space that's my piece of paper. And then I'm going to tear that 